flavour. I've got it for days in abundance. If anyone's ever caught chalky in my kitchen, follow the step-by-step -step guide. <laughs> but don't call but don't call 911. Call 999. <laughs> Hello, I'm Adrian Odudu and welcome to my episode of My Style, My Space with LUK. Come on in. Take your shoes off first though. <laughs> this is my favourite room to host the kitchen and for the longest time actually i had no storage all of my kitchen is on the opposite side it's all integrated and in every single cupboard there's something the boiler the electric meter so this is actually very very important and very heavily used it almost pots and pans and uglier things are in the bottom tucked away and this is my bar area i mean it's fully stocked and i'm ready to i'm ready to host like now I'm ready to ask now, immediately. I'm a bit of a champagne pappy. There's always champagne in the fridge and then I've got it on the shelf to restock, restock, restock constantly. Um, but my happy hour cocktail of choice is a margarita. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. I mean, the whole thing actually, because I've integrated all of this into the wall, but essentially, here is my hack. It's Ikea. Shelf after shelf after shelf. Yes, I had to sit down and meticulously measure and measure again, but it made it easier for me to manoeuvre things. I could I could move the shelves if they weren't in the right space, as opposed to if I got a carpenter round, they want to be so specific. And I'm like, I don't know. My dining room chairs are my favourite upcycled piece. I was inspired to do these chairs by an incredible artist called Yinka Ilori and I followed his work and couldn't afford his chairs and so I sort of saw some fabric and painted these chairs all by myself, reupholstered them and I think I've done a good job. This is um, from The Big Breakfast. The channel bought me a bottle of Big breakfast personalised champagne. The champagne's been drank, but I kept the tin. If I was going to renovate anywhere else in this house, I might have knocked this wall down and had it open plan. That being said, where would I have been able to hang my chalking sign? Did you know that in New York, all the restaurants that I was entering anyway, have to legally have these chalking signs up. And I went to this one incredible Mexican restaurant called Ensenada in Brooklyn, and I loved it, and I loved the chalking sign. Got in touch with the illustrator, they kindly did this for me. This is a bench, you can sit on it. And again, it was one of those pieces that I actually didn't really love, but it was cheap and cheerful. So what better way to upcycle it than to just cover it in a nice fabric, which is exactly what I did. I got this Nigerian print from Deptford Market in South East London. I've had this for over five years now, and it's sturdy, it. it's had loads of wine, spill on it you know i love being really playful with colors and patterns in my home so it really spoke to me i like to find the fun in absolutely everything that's mundane or seems like a step-by-step -step thing that we go through i have a cup of tea every single day i have a slice of toast every single day and so these two items we toaster and kettle are much used and much loved and especially as they're from poodle and blonde and one of the co-founders is my mate Riddy williams so i see this i see her and i see fun four and a half years ago i bought this place and what attracted me to it was that it's so light we're in my living room now it's got three large sash windows which are absolutely adored and from there i was like it's a bit of me this growing up and even now my mum absolutely loves photographs i just wanted to um put loads of photos of happy memories up here with a dash of typography and yeah, and be reminded of home. Welcome to my hallway. I absolutely love it. Number one on my feet is my favourite colour, my pride and joy, my bright orange carpet. Um, I love like blinds that feel like pieces of art and I just thought that 
art should be reflected on the wall. And these are pieces by an incredible illustrator called Hattie Stewart. She kindly sent them to me and she left a note saying, AJ, these are really delicate pieces, so please take them straight to the framers. And two years later, I got them framed. <laughs> Thank God uh, they're such good quality that they have stood the test of time all rolled up. But now they do take pride and joy on my walls. They're really firm, playful, and reflect all of the colours that I've got around my home. I feel like so many rooms provide a bit of dopamine. As soon as you walk into the hallway, it's got bright orange carpet, it's like, boom, you're in my house. And then you come upstairs, you've got a lot of textures, patterns, and a little bit of the outdoor coming in with all of me foliage. I mean, I feel like this is the home of happiness, joy, and it's an instant dopamine hit. Room to room. When I first moved in, I just knew that I had to have a dressing room. It was literally my dream. So this is where I do my fittings with my stylist. This exactly is where my mum sits down, has a cup of tea there, and just judges me, my outfits. No, I don't like that one. Don't like this one. This is the one. This is the one. Um, so I love it. I might not be Kim Kardashian, but I can, you know, we can, we can have a walking wardrobe. I think organisation can be really stylish. First of all, I wanted to have an open wardrobe so that I could see exactly how many things I had. Um, and actually, it's so interesting. As soon as you see everything, you realise, oh my gosh, I don't need another vest. I don't need another handbag. I don't need another set of shoes or whatever. I mean, it doesn't stop you, but at least you can visualise what needs to stay and what needs to go. Storage boxes are the way forward for me. That's how I maximise my space. I've got a box literally filled with wigs. Just keep on shoving them down. Having doors that slide open and close is actually an amazing way to maximise storage space because you can hide all sins and then keep just the pretty stuff on display. I would save this in a fire. And it was a present from my agent at the end of 2022. I've just had the best year ever. I don't know why, I just wouldn't spend that much money on a bag. So when um, someone else did, I happily accepted. Thank you. This will be coming with me. Look, come on. This is my live, laugh, love picture of this room. <laughs> it's true though. I do love everything that's wrong with you. I had this cupboard when I first moved in, which was just grotty, it had nothing in it, and then I put a censored light in, I put loads of shelves in, and I've made my own walk-in shoe cupboard. Heels are the shoes that best represent me. I mean, come on, an oven last. When we go out, we will totter over cobbles in order to have our heels on and have a good night out. And it's no different now that I'm a TV presenter. These are the shoes that I wore to the Fashion Awards last year, which were stunning and actually very comfortable. These Saint Laurent shoes are the shoes that I wore to host Comic Relief earlier this year. And these shoes are the most painful shoes I've ever wore. Can you cope with these? These Louboutin shoes are wraparounds, bright red, stunning. And I actually wore these to meet Christian Louboutin himself. Guess where I met him? Liverpool! <laughs> and here's where I have been cooking up all of my big brother looks. My stylist comes in here and we try, try and try again and have them all hung up. So this is as tidy as you'll ever see this wardrobe. There's not a single look in this wardrobe that I'm actually gonna wear for big brother. You'll have to watch and see. Welcome to my bedroom. I wanted this to feel really relaxing, zen, and actually my digital free zone. However, I have just put an office space in the corner because it's the lightest point in me home, really. It's all self-facing. So I get up, sometimes go do 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 and feel like a real 
boss and I actually had this headboard re-upholstered. The fabric's from Harley Quinn and I got a matching fabric in the pillowcases and the curtains as well. It's a bit of a move from what I'm usually into. It's really kitsch and I got the wallpaper from Harley Quinn as well. It just reminded me of staying in um, a hotel, a country hotel. Nighttime routines, I've got a few. I've got this pillow mist, which I absolutely love. It's called the Deep Sleep Hero. Generally, I'm a terrible sleeper. My mind is constantly racing. So I uh, try and make this as digital free a zone as possible. Have low lighting by just switching on my orange lamp. And then I do all of that. It smells of lavender, it's gorgeous. I set my Lumi alarm clock because the days are getting so much darker. I hate waking up in the dark. I'll light a candle, spray my pillow, get into bed, read a book. I tend to read two pages and then I'm asleep. And then I wake up again because the lamp's on. <laughs> It's a cycle. One of my favourite books at the moment, Too Much by Tom Allen. He's a really good mate of mine, but I remember reading this on Miami Beach. How luxurious. There's a lot of uh, poignant, hilarious moments in it. It's a story about all of the funny things that he's learned from his dad who passed away, but it's so joyous and so uplifting at the same time. Um, and there's talks of grief and the highs and lows of life, and that's what I love about this book. But I've also got other books that um, talk about love, a bit more self-help, a little book of confidence, and stories. Um, it's a real range on this bookshelf, and uh, for whatever mood I'm in at night, is whatever mood I'm taking to bed with me. Oh, it's been lovely having you around. Thanks for popping in. Come back anytime. but for now, see ya. Peace out. Bye!